Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a bootable USB drive that you could put Windows 7 on to use as a bootable USB Windows 7 installation. So the first thing is to click the start button. And if you don't see command prompt, type in CMD, right click it, select run as administrator, and say yes it'll bring you to the command prompt. So now, once at the command prompt, type in disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and press enter. Okay, now, once we're in disk part, notice the prompt that says disk part, type list disk, L-I-S-T space D-I-S-K. And this will list the disks. This is important just in case you have multiple external drives in there. We don't want to uh, overwrite the wrong drive. So we see here that disk one is our uh, USB stick. The other one is the internal hard drive. So the next step is we're going to type select disk one. S-E-L-E-C-T D-I-S-K-1 Disk 1 is now the selected disk. I'm going to type clean. Enter. Disk park succeeded in cleaning the disk. Now I'm going to type create partition primary disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition I'm going to format it with NTFS by typing format FS that's for file system equals NTFS now it's formatting the stick Okay, now that it has successfully formatted the volume, you just type active to make it an active partition. A C T I V E. Act. Whoops, I gotta be on the screen. Active. Okay. Disk part marked the current partition as active. So this USB drive is essentially bootable now. We would close this out, or the proper way, I guess, would be to type exit, leaving this part. All right, and I'm just going to close out of that. Okay, now what to do here is we're going to the computer, going to click on this is the USB drive here, and then this is Windows 7 Professional. I'm trying to get to explore, I'm just going to click open. And I'm pressing Control A to select everything. You hear the CD drive boot up. And I'm copying it all to the removable drive. So this is going to copy the whole entire CD over to the USB stick. Wow, the total contents are 4.22 gigs. I didn't realize the Windows 7 CD was that large. So this could take some time. Okay, all the files have copied over. If you wanted to replace the default Windows 7 vanilla installation with your own Windows 7 installation, you'd have to first capture it using Microsoft Deployment Toolkit or Windows Deployment Services. And on the USB stick, you would go into Sources and find install.wim. This is the actual Windows 7 image right here. You would replace this install.wim with your own install.wim file. Just rename it and uh, overwrite that file. And then when you install Windows 7 from the USB stick, it will install your image. To install this, it would be no different than inserting the Windows 7 CD. You would, ins you would insert your USB stick, uh, 
press like F12 or whatever your BIOS does to select which boot device. Select the USB stick and uh, it should start the Windows 7 setup screen. You may have to go into your BIOS to add the USB as a bootable device. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to TechNuba.